SpaceX is an American aerospace manufacturer, space transportation services, and communications company headquartered in Hawthorne, California. SpaceX was founded in 2002 by Elon Musk to reduce space transportation costs to enable the colonization of Mars. SpaceX manufactures the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles, several rocket engines, Dragon cargo, crew spacecraft, and Starlink communication satellites. SpaceX has long been the leader in terms of the commercial space industry. On June 17, 2021, SpaceX successfully completed a launch that was nothing short of a milestone for the commercial space industry. SpaceX's achievements include the first privately funded liquid propellant rocket to reach Orbital 1 in 2008, the first private company to successfully launch, orbit, and recover a spacecraft, Dragon, in 2010, and the first private space company to send a spacecraft to the International Space Station, Dragon, in 2012. It is also the first vehicle takeoff and vertical propulsive landing for an orbital rocket, Falcon 9, in 2015. The first reuse of an orbital rocket, Falcon 9, in 2017, and the first private company to send astronauts to orbit and the International Space Station, SpaceX Dragon Crew Demo 2, in 2020. SpaceX has flown and reflown the Falcon 9 series of rockets over 100 times. SpaceX is developing a satellite, Omega Constellation, named Starlink, to provide commercial internet service. In January 2020, the Starlink Constellation became the largest satellite constellation in the world. SpaceX is also developing Starship, a privately funded, fully reusable, super-heavy lift launch system for interplanetary spaceflight. Starship is intended to become the primary SpaceX orbital vehicle once operational, supplementing the existing Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon fleet. Starship will be fully reusable and have the highest payload capacity of any orbital rocket ever on its debut, scheduled for the early 2020s. One of the company's goals was to take the quote magic out of rocket launches. It's just physics. As its Falcon 9 rocket has become more reliable and flown more frequently, 18 launches so far this year and counting, it seems that SpaceX has succeeded in taking the magic out of launches. SpaceX successfully launched an advanced GPS satellite for the US Space Force on Thursday, June 17th, 2021. Marking the 19th launch of the year here on the Space Coast, and also the second launch in one month. And while reliability should definitely be the goal, such regularity does distract from the spectacle of watching a rocket launch. But there are still some special Falcon 9 missions, and that's certainly the case with a launch expected to occur at 12.09 p.m. Eastern on Thursday from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, as the company was hired by the Pentagon. With the launch of a next-generation GPS-3 spacecraft, SpaceX will fly a national security mission for the first time on a reused booster into orbit. Last year, the Space Force and SpaceX agreed to contract modifications allowing for the launch of this GPS-3 mission, Space Vehicle 05, and another one, SV-06, on a reused Falcon 9 first stage rocket. The Space Force agreed to allow the GPS-3 satellites to be launched into a different orbital perigee, enabling a drone ship recovery attempt. The first stage set to launch Thursday previously flew the GPS-3 SV-04 last November. In return for this accommodation, SpaceX agreed to some additional spacecraft requirements for future missions and saved the U.S. government $52 million. SpaceX has designed and manufactured Falcon 9 as a reusable two-stage rocket. The U.S. Department of Defense, or DOD, has allowed a reused SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket booster to lift off of the U.S. Space Forces or USSF's 5th Global Positioning System, GPS-3 SV-05 satellite. The Falcon 9 was used to launch the GPS-3 SV-04 satellite in November of last year. In a briefing on June 14th, USSF SMC Deputy Missions Director Walter Lauderdale was quoted by CNBC saying, quote, in preparation for this first time event, we've worked closely with SpaceX to understand the refurbishment process and are confident that this rocket is ready for its next flight. He added that they were looking forward to continuing their work with SpaceX and equally looking ahead to the SV-06 mission next year, adding that we'll be working with them as to what boosters are available, saying, quote, we are certainly open to using other boosters, not just ones that have flown for the Space Force. 
Taken as a whole, our disciplined approach is part of an uncompromising dedication to mission successes executed one launch at a time. So far, the US DoD has awarded SpaceX with five of the six GPS-3 satellite launch contracts, valued at $469.8 million. This represents an important signal from the military that it is ready to embrace reused rockets for its most important missions. And the move is something of a final frontier for SpaceX as it seeks to push forward the reuse of the Falcon 9 first stages. NASA has already launched its highest value missions with astronauts on a reused first stage with the Crew 2 flight in April. Thursday's GPS mission is a high priority for the Space Force too, as it seeks to modernize its navigation constellation. This new generation of global positioning satellites built by Lockheed Martin has three times greater accuracy and an anti-jamming capability that is eight times higher than earlier versions. The next five GPS satellites, vehicles 06 to 10, are in various states of readiness for launch, and Lockheed Martin has been contracted to build up to 22 additional vehicles. The weather for Thursday's 15-minute launch window looked reasonable, with only a 30% chance of unfavorable conditions. Upper-level winds may have been a concern, however. The skies were clear over the launch pad, so onlookers got treated to an amazing sight as the rocket launched and the satellite made its way into space. The SpaceX webcast embedded below should begin about 15 minutes before the launch window opened, and one of the company's two-stage Falcon 9 rockets blasted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station here at 12.09 p.m. Eastern, carrying the GPS-3 SV-05 navigation satellite into orbit. Nine minutes later, the rocket's first stage touched down on the deck of Just Read the Instructions, one of SpaceX's two drone ships. What a beautiful view of the first stage landing. Yumei Zhao, a SpaceX propulsion engineer, said during the company's live launch ceremony. The GPS-3 SV-05 satellite mission is the second to launch so far this month for SpaceX, allowing the launch of a broadband satellite for Sirius XM on June 6th. The GPS-3 SV-02 mission was the only one launched by United Launch Alliance, ULA. The GPS-3 SV-06 seven and eight satellites are fully assembled. They are undergoing environmental testing at the company's GPS-3 processing facility in Denver. GPS-3, SV-09, and 10 are in the component buildup stage, noted the company. This job from the Space Force, along with their achievements in the reusability and cost reduction of rocket launches, is something that Elon Musk and SpaceX should be extremely proud of. Lots of people are in awe of what the company has achieved and cannot wait to see what is in the future in terms of the space industry. Let us know what you think about this by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Thanks!